Great 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 They sure are. That four ship, every one of the pilots in those aircraft are U-2 pilots by their primary trade. In fact, when you come to the UCHO program, which we've talked about, is an interview program. Everybody we take is a volunteer. They apply to come to the program, and if accepted, we bring them out, and the first thing we do with them is check them out in the T-38. It's not a difficult plane to fly, or is it? No, it's really not, but you have to fly it well. You have to get back, get yourself into that single seat mentality, especially if you've come out of a crew aircraft. There's no autopilot on the aircraft, which means you always fly the aircraft. There's no weapons to employ. You just simply focus on flying the aircraft well. And we have a very robust program teaching aircraft handling characteristics of the aircraft. Aerobatics. We have a formation and a low-level program as guys get more experience. And we, de we develop a very, very good single-seat pilot team. We carry that single seat training into the U-2 where they fly alone, unarmed, unafraid, no wingman. Now let's oh, talk about oh. a little bit. This has a, yeah, those a are fairly stubby yeah. wing, and that means it's uh, it'll stall at a We're higher going speed. And that's something that's trying out a fly, fly a fighter jet. The U-2 is completely backwards on that. If people look at the, the T-38 and say, how can that be? A good companion trainer for the U-2, but it really is. The same flight strategy, the same pilot skill you learn. Well, between, the, between the, uh, the two aircrafts. The T 38 is one of the fastest landing military aircraft. Uh, we fly final approach at almost under bird pilots now for a normal landing. So uh, it's going about double the speed of the U 2 in the traffic pattern. Okay, they're going to be coming around for one it. more pass, still in the fingertip formation. By the way, fingertip, you take your right hand, push and your do an air show fingers every together, two weeks. put your palm facing away from you, and tuck your thumb into your palm. You can see how that fingertip formation looks by the way your fingers are lined up, with the lead aircraft being your middle finger, aircraft two and three being your index and ring fingers, and aircraft number four Here being come your again. pinky. From Over the runway this time. left, here come the Beale T-38 Talon aircraft built by Northrop over 47 and 48 years of service life in these particular aircraft. Let's hear it for the pilots from Beale. Rob leading that formation of aircraft. Lieutenant Colonel Brad Ferry, we call him Dangle. He is an experienced U-2 and T-38 instructor pilot. He's been in the U-2 program for almost 18 years. And I also want to point out that the Director of Operations for the First Reconnaissance Squadron is in that uh, formation. Lieutenant Colonel Lance Morton. We call him Baja. He was a former uh, F-16 aggressor. And I also want to point out that being the First Reconnaissance Squadron, this coming March is our centennial of our squadron. We are the oldest squadron in all of the United States military. Started 100 years ago uh, in March. And that would mean that started with the United States Army in the Signal Corps. The Signal Corps. Before the Air Corps and before the Air Force, and before the Air Force became a separate service from the United States Army on September 18th of 1947. Now, as we see these airplanes, they look fast. You gotta land them fast because you can get behind the airplane and it'll stall. That, when you're at altitude in a U-2, even though it has a huge, huge long wing of over a hundred foot wingspan, I believe, uh, you're in the coffin corner, right? You want to explain the term coffin corner? Sure. The coffin corner in the U-2, as you climb, 